Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. We're pretty lucky statewide to have a gorgeous St. Patrick's Day out there. Absolutely stunning shot from down in southern Utah, the Virgin River Gorge. We can see the water, lots of green, the red rock there. It's been a great year with that heavy snowpack and plenty of moisture. Along the Wasatch Front, clear skies and lots of sunshine. Mid 40s, temperatures running below average. You can see those northerly winds keeping us a little on the chilly side, but all in all, it is gorgeous when you step out into the sun. And we've got dry conditions out there for your St. Patrick's Day. Expect those numbers along the Wasatch Front to fall into the 30s as we get closer to ABC 4 News at 10. By 8 o'clock, we're into the upper 30s, and we will cool off pretty quickly following that with overnight lows feeling a bit chilly. We will see some increasing cloud cover, though, right around the corner as we head into our weekend. Satellite radar shows a quiet picture with our northerly winds. High pressure is taking control, but that's going to change as we get through our Saturday. We're going to start to break things down, and then we've got potential to see wet weather arriving for the latter half of your weekend. The Sunday forecast kind of showing that moisture from the west moving in. We do get a wave rippling through by the afternoon. We could see some light activity in central and southern Utah, and it really fills in for the overnight and makes it up north by Monday morning. So yes, we have the potential to see some valley rain and mountain snow. Our moisture potential through Monday brings that heaviest precip to the central portion of the state as well as over towards Castle Country and down towards Cedar City. Now temperatures will remain mild enough for a rain event, but that starts to change as we get through a very active pattern into next week. The long range future cast brings in that cloud cover as we roll through our Saturday. A deck of clouds will be around and then increasing clouds for our Sunday with mostly cloudy skies, but pretty dry conditions. Now as we make it into the afternoon and evening, spotty showers start to show up in the southern portion of the state by 2 a.m. They've knocked on the door in Utah County and they moved across the lake, moving into the north. Valley rain, mountain snow. This isn't a huge weather maker, but as we roll into late Monday and into Tuesday, things start to change. Look at that mountain snow that starts to fill in. The timing of the precipitation with this system is going to be interesting and will allow for some mixed precip. Notice we get a bit of a break after that wave on Monday, and then we roll into Tuesday, and here comes the wet weather in southern Utah. The potential for another atmospheric river, but we are looking at a decent amount of moisture here. Valley rain, mountain snow, but then could see cold enough temperatures overnight Tuesday into Wednesday that we get straight sloppy snow. It would be spring snow, folks. We officially kick off spring on Monday, and you watch as that moisture surges north by 4 p.m. on Wednesday. I hope you're watching the clock in the corner of your screen. You see that we've got wet weather and snow potential out there. Mountains will benefit yet again, but we've got to be careful. You know what I'm talking about. We love to get up there for that spring skiing and getting in the backcountry, but avalanche danger will rise. 30s and 40s for those daytime highs, 50s in Moab, 60 in St. George. Taking a look at the next seven down there in Washington County. We stay pretty quiet, and then as we roll into Monday, Monday. Here comes that rain. Yeah, it's going to stick around with active conditions expected as we get through much of next week. The Wasatch Front shows a similar pattern. Starts Monday night. Now it takes a moment because it really originates down in southern Utah, but it moves up in our direction. And as it does, it brings mixed precipitation our way, which means valley rain, mountain snow. And then at times, that sloppy wintry mix, it will be straight snow in the mountains. We're going to keep our close eyes on the snow levels because we know those will be exactly where they need to be, but we need to know where that heavy accumulation is coming. I know, and a lot of people are watching how quickly that snow is melting as well, yes. just being careful. Well, here we are. We've got warmer temperatures wanting to move in, but now we're putting rain on top of our snowpack, and that always presents a bit of an issue early season, Courtney, because it definitely means rapid conditions for the melt, which is what we saw with flood concerns. I'm going to say it again, flood concerns possible as we head into next week. All right. Thank you, Alana. Yeah. Stay with us. We'll be right back.